small businesses are the lifeblood of our economy. I mean, they are the backbone of the nation. Uh, uh, starting a, a new business is obviously a big challenge. It requires courage, self-belief, passion, determination, all the things you want from a, from a business owner. And the good thing is what we do see is that people who make the step, they will tell us they never regret the step and think it's the best decision ever taken. Compared to working for somebody else, owning your own business is amazing. I always say the highs are higher, the lows are lower. It's like being on a roller coaster, but the average amount of fun and happiness you have is way above uh, what I previously had when working for somebody else. So the best thing about owning your own business is you do what you love. You can put all your skill sets to work and knowing that you can always support other people. Well, to give you a, a sense how important small businesses really are here in the UK, they give me some numbers. Um, uh, economically, they deliver more than half of, of turnover in the UK, just the small businesses. In terms of working population, 60% of all the private sector jobs are in small businesses. And it's increasing. And if you look at the number of businesses, more than 99% of all the businesses we have are small businesses here in the UK. And let's not forget the importance they have in communities. They are typically local businesses close to where we live and they make a huge impact on how our communities feel uh, and are to live in. So the, the last two years have been extremely tough on small business. We had obviously COVID for almost two years that changed the whole landscape, uh, reduced demand, difficult to trade, just make it very, very difficult to run your business. Then now we have inflation with a potential recession coming. We have Brexit. It's a really, really tough environment for small businesses and, and they really have to fight for their business. Now the good thing is when we talk to them in our recent report, what we have seen most of them never regret the decision. They still think it's the best decision they took professionally to run their own business, to do what they want. And uh, a good proportion of them have a pretty positive outlook and it's probably a good example for our, all of us on how we should look into the future. In our recent uh, startup report, we looked at uh, why people start new businesses and typically what we do see is they want a good work-life balance, they want to do what they want, they want to be their own boss, uh, they want to be able to do it at their rhythm. Um, so it's less about the money, it's really being able to implement their own ideas uh, on their own terms uh, and create something they own and, and can run. So it's very much about ownership and passion for what they, what they try to achieve. So the best business advice I've ever received is charge your worth. When you're starting out in a business, you always find that you might look at your competitors and what they charge, but making sure that you calculate all your, your costings, your outgoings, and then, you know, you make sure you price it right, that fits in line with you, is the great start to charging your worth. Yeah, it's really exciting to meet small businesses uh, who really lift the passion of their, their leaders and you see the commitment of the leader but also the whole team in doing what they want to do and the other part is also they have really a positive outlook mainly on what is to come it's in their hands to create the business they want so it's it's a good example for all of us how to tackle the future challenges uh, with some positiveness in it the biggest piece of advice i give anyone starting their own business is to surround themselves with a support network that's both business support in terms of a mentor or someone else who's already a couple of steps ahead of you in the business world, but more importantly, emotional support. Friends and family who can pick you up when you invariably stumble. It'll make you stronger and your business stronger and mean you can be back to your best as soon as possible. So another thing we looked in the startup report was uh, what did uh, um, drive the decision to start a new business? And what we have found is that it's mainly family and friends who inspire people to found a new business and it's difficult to found a new business it's a lot of challenges so we want to be there for them so that they have the self-confidence uh, to go through the first steps and become and then become entrepreneurs that hopefully have a very solid and healthy businesses the startup angel competition is our way to support uh, young businesses uh, to realize their dreams two of them will get 25,000 pounds to start the idea to bring it to life they will also get mentoring from the Startup Angels and uh, business insurance for a year from AXA. Whilst there are many uh, perceived barriers to, to start your new business, the rewards obviously are, are great when you, once you are there. So as AXA, we want to be there helping these businesses to overcome these first steps. And we know that around 30% of people would like to start their own business. And, um, 
And we do recognize, obviously, there's a, a lot of challenges there, so we want to give the support and mentoring needed to have a full, successful first 12 months. It's very easy to enter the competition. You tell us your business idea, you create a short video, upload it, and then you tell us why you should win. And that's it. Good luck.